Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching an instructional video called Multicast Barth Mode Using a Bootstrap Router. We are looking at a simple diagram of a multicast server and a client computer connected together by three routers labeled A, B, and C. We are going to configure the multicast network with these components and we are going to make router A the rendezvous point on its loopback interface and make router C the bootstrap router on its loopback interface. We have the ability to put the rendezvous point and the bootstrap router on the same router or on separate routers. For this example, I have chosen to put the rows on different routers. These are the steps that we're going to use to configure multicast using a bootstrap router. One, we're going to verify that the unicast network is working correctly. Two, we're going to configure the router for sparse mode multicasting. Three, we will configure the rendezvous point and the bootstrap router. Four, we're going to have a client computer request multicast traffic. And five, we're going to have the multicast server send out multicast traffic. The very first step in creating a multicast network is to verify the underlying unicast connectivity is working correctly. Let's ping the client computer. The pings are successful. Let's also verify that we can ping the router interface that we plan to configure the rendezvous point on. This is also working correctly and shows us that the multicast server is able to talk with both the client computer and the future rendezvous point using unicast ping packets. Let's look at the commands needed to pass multicast traffic through the routers using the bootstrap routing protocol. In the global configuration mode, you will need to type the IP multicast routing command that enables IP multicasting on the router. In the interface configuration mode, we will need to type the IP PIM sparse mode command that enables PIM sparse mode on the interface. On the rendezvous point router, the IP PIM RP candidate command creates a rendezvous point. An access list command is used to define the scope of the multicast IP address. The IP PIM BSR candidate command creates a bootstrap router that communicates the IP address of the rendezvous point to the other routers. We can choose to put the rendezvous point and bootstrap router on the same router or on separate routers. Again, let's look at the diagram of our simple network. The first step is to verify that the unicast traffic is working correctly, and we have already done that. The second step is to configure multicasting on all the routers that will be forwarding multicast traffic. Let's configure all the routers for multicast routing using the IP multicast routing command. We will also configure all the interfaces that will be participating in multicast with the sparse mode protocol. We are typing the same command in all three routers.
it is time to perform the third step. The loopback interface on router A is being configured to be the rendezvous point using the IPPIM RP candidate command. Notice that the scope of the multicast IP address is defined by the access control list. Next, the loopback interface on router C is being configured as the bootstrap router with the IP PIM BRS candidate command. Its job is to tell everyone where the rendezvous point is. Let's configure the client computer to receive multicast traffic from 234.234.234.234 using the IGMP join group command. When the multicast server sends out a multicast ping packet to all the client computers that are participating in multicast, the client computer will respond with a reply ping packet. The client computer with the interface address of 10.0.3.2 has replied. The multicast is working between the server and the client computer. The bootstrap router is an industry standard for dynamically configuring all the routers in a network with the location of the rendezvous point. In the next video, we will take a look at a method where the multicast server itself can decide where the rendezvous point will be located. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.